Hello, dear students. Welcome to this week's art lesson. This is Miss Morrow here, and I'm greeting every single one of you. So, as you remember, last week we talked about monochromatic color scheme and how different artists use it. But uh, today we're going to um, practice it with watercolor. So we're going to learn a new technique. We're going to learn how to use watercolor. Um, I want you to draw a space with using one point or two point perspective. I'm inserting here some examples for you. Of course, these can be too hard for you, but um, you guys can just draw like any kind of place you want. It can be indoors like these ones or outdoors. It can be a landscape, it can be a cityscape. And you can draw any kind of area you want to start and now I'm going to show you how to create a palette uh, for your drawing for coloring your drawing so I'm going to use a blue color here and I'm going to create myself a monochromatic palette out of uh, this blue color so I start with the darkest color and you see seven different rectangles here so I'll go lighter and lighter every single time uh, how I do this is just simply adding some water because water helps me to uh, show the white of the paper so basically I'm mixing my blue color with white color to make it lighter but I'm using the white of the paper over here not the white paint so yeah this first step of ours is creating a palette for ourselves to be a reference for our painting for our drawing and this is a very important step for you to see these seven colors we're going to use in our painting see them all together and a simple practice to water down your watercolor. You will keep these, uh, this palette with you during your painting and um, this will be a reference for you. So what important here is having solid color all around the rectangle. And now I want to show you two techniques are mostly very commonly used in watercolor. The first technique is called wet on wet. So what we do here, we start with wetting our paper with a brush. Um, it's it's very simple. It's called wet on wet. So it means we wet our paper to start, and then we add some wet color. Uh, watered down watercolor on this wet area this helps the color slides on the paper and blends really good really smooth and soft don't afraid to use a lot of water uh, during during this technique you can while you're using this technique and as you see here you can easily blend the colors while you're using this technique and what interesting here is if you make a mistake if you make something you didn't like you can just dab a piece of tissue on your mistake and it will be magically disappear and don't forget to keep a piece of tissue with you all the time. And the second uh, technique is called wet on dry. So it's also very simple. You use wet color on a dry surface. This creates more, more vibrant and bright colors on the paper. Um, it's hard to blend. It's hard to mix colors, but you can use this when you want to create some details. It's very good to create some details. If you have a good brush, um, you can use the tip of the brush 
to do finer details and if you press on your brush a little harder you can paint white areas okay here let's look at something uh, interesting so most of you probably using watercolor out of the pan but there is a good way to prepare your color in a separate piece of plate like this uh, it can be a plastic container it can be a yogurt lid it can be just a plate like anything you have at home and and here we go let's start our painting so i am using a very thick uh, paper if you have i hardly recommend you use a thick paper um, because it uh, holds more water in it so um, we also going to need a cup and filled with water and of course brushes so I start with wet on wet technique your paper can be bent like mine but if you don't want this to happen you can uh, stick it on your working area so what I'm going to do here I am going to create the lightest shade I have uh, on my palette to create uh, the background here uh, my sky and um, like last week I start, uh, started with my sketch I already uh, drew my mountains over here and uh, this I don't want this to confuse you because um, what, what I want from you to draw a perspective drawing and color it by here to show you a good example I am drawing something totally different so here again I did layers of mountains like last week and I started with the lightest shade and I use wet on wet technique for the background for the sky and here on this first layer of mine I used uh, wet on dry technique so I use my color uh, dry and there we go the next layer again uh, wet on dry so here what I'm doing I'm just experimenting so you guys also can try this uh, experiment different techniques on your drawing and find which fits better to you and what I'm doing here I'm trying to drag my color all the way down using a lot of water and exact same color there is actually no reason to do that I just want to try and see what happens okay and I'm trying to go parallel with my color palette and here I'm trying to use um, wet on wet technique but I didn't wet all the way until my tracing lines for my mountains um, because if I did that it could have been spread all around I just start a little bit down then my line and on top of the line I just add my color and as you notice I'm going darker and darker every single time and here I just left it like this oh no, I drag the color a little bit down but not as much as the one I already did so this next one is already done and dried and there we go the darkest two shade again I started with wetting my paper and now what I'm doing I'm adding a darker color on top and I'm preparing it on my plastic palette if you see if you pay attention 
I'm not just taking the color from the watercolor pan and applying it on the paper. I'm always watering it down, except here. Here I want to use the darkest shade possible, this blue makes. So I'm directly taking it from the pan and applying on my paper, wet on dry, so only if you want to use the darkest shade possible of the color you picked um, then you use it directly from the pan otherwise water it down in somewhere else and there we go we're done with today's uh, painting uh, again you don't need to do this exact same one and please don't go ahead and Use your imagination, create your own painting, create your own drawing. I want you to use perspective for the specific one and try to use different shades, different values of one single color. You don't have to pick blue, you can, you're free to pick any color you want, but I want you to try to use watercolor like me. And please try to use the techniques I showed you. Try wet on wet, try wet on dry, and try to discover which works really good for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I see you all next week. Bye, guys.